Anything that you can do voluntarily pretty much is driven by your corticospinal system. We get a small contribution from the rubrospinal system, the red nucleus and that whole thing. But pretty much it's all corticospinal. That's what runs the show. And corticospinal basically goes to your flexors. And if we look at pathology, and you hear me say this a billion times this week, and if we look at pathology, most pathology in humans, especially musculoskeletal pathology, aside from acute injury, you know, you get slammed by a snowboarder or you hit a tree or something like that, are flexor dominant injuries. In other words, we overuse our flexors, we don't use our extensors enough. We don't drive that part of our brain enough. Think about carpal tunnel, right? All this flexor activity. If we were really smart, we would have designed a keyboard that you could use putting backwards this way and flip your hands upside down and work your extensors, right? Look at all of you sitting here right now, right? You're all flexor dominant, okay? And that's a problem. When we feed our flexors, we can create imbalances. It's all about yin and yang and balance. It's about creating balance between the extensors and the flexors. Think about limb buds when they were formed, right? We come out, we got this like tube, right? The arm paddles come out, the leg paddles come out. The arm paddles and the leg paddles come in front. The arms rotate one way, the legs rotate the opposite way. Extensor surfaces for my arm are dorsal and nomina anatomica, right, when I'm standing there. But where are the extensor surfaces for my legs? They're on the front. These are my extensors. These are my flexors. So there's a twist. All right, sorry, got off on a secant. <laughs> Never get off on tangents. <laughs> All right, so here's another picture just sort of showing the sensory homunculus, if we were to look at an individual, kind of what it looks like. These are the areas of largest cortical representation. Notice God was very good to this man. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Lips in this area, nose, facial features. Think about the power of the points in these areas. And I tell you, as far as I'm concerned, okay, and I'm biased, the feet are the key, right? That's pretty much from the research that I've done in the last five years. That's the key. You can fix the feet, mechanically I'm talking about, mechanical musculoskeletal problems. You can fix most of the other problems in the body, but that's another lecture.